This is Ed Tracy with EdwardCTracy.com and I'm here today at 901 Main Street in Conyers, Georgia, Rockdale County uh, building here and we are in, in front of the county assembly hall and this is where the administration of services building is and there's a protest going on today. Uh, we haven't seen too many protests in this town in the past few years and when they are it's always about taxes and so we are um, we're here today to cover this anti-T-SPLOST movement and apparently the charge is, is that the SPLOST people have shown up, the pro-SPLOST people. Some, some people here uh, have accused them of being paid hired hands of the uh, Untie the Knot campaign, which was started by an Atlanta developer. Uh, and others have charged that, that Atlanta developer and a lot of other developers, politicians, uh, will make profits on the sale of their land and that's why they want these certain roads and extension of uh, rail and things to go through their properties, buy their properties into their neighborhoods where they can enrich themselves. And, and we have just seen all over this country where these projects have turned into boondoggles for uh, the friends of elected officials and uh, this is what makes people cynical about government. And they sell it as untie the knot, but if you ever lived in Boston, uh, area like I have, worked there, um, and you had to travel through 20 years of the Big Dig project, where it was, uh, started out as a $4 billion project, turned into a $35 billion project, uh, all kinds of corruption, people being charged with corruption, um, it, it, and, and that's just one of the projects across the United States where you can dig up through the media any records that show wherever there's money, you follow the money trail, and you'll find that there's usually corruption. And they try to duplicate a system that's already in place with more bureaucrats and more control and more government hacks and um, more people on the payroll, and the taxes never go away. And so this is a 10-year uh, SPLOS that has lifetime, um, I'd say, a, life, a, a lifetime of payments that won't end in 10 years like your local SPLOS where they sign projects and they end them at the end of seven years on the local SPLOS and the projects are finished and they only spend what they take in. This sends money from donor counties to uh, to uh, bigger cities and counties within the 12 regions of the, of the uh, state of Georgia. It also uh, goes into uh, deeper things where laws are being changed. Uh, some a table of laws, uh, Sue Ellen Deadweiler, who reports on the Capitol, put in a report in, and she also has shown and itemized all the different laws that this changed in Georgia a lot in order to make this happen. It also takes autonomy away from local governments. It, it appoints uh, unelected officials to regional government, which ties into the plans for 30, 40 years from the UN Agenda 21 plan, which is being implemented throughout the world to get rid of local control, to regionalize government, and to take uh, our elective voices away. Remember, the rest of the world doesn't have a republic like we have here in the United States, and they hate us for it, for our freedoms. And we, our freedom and liberty stand in the way of the uh, UN from getting total control of the world and the liberals, communists, and socialists from taking over our lives and telling us what to do. UN Agenda 21, which is uh, Tease Blast, is, is an arm of it. Uh, it's the guise for regionalization of government. You'll see county and city go, uh, districts go away. You'll see appointed people making decisions. This happened uh, in other parts of the country. The Cape Cod Commission started this with environmental protection back in the 19, early 1980s. And I just believe that it's going to continue to spread. And people here in Georgia are smarter than the average bear. And Republicans and Democrats alike. Uh, NAACP and, uh, and other groups are opposed to this because they know this spells slavery for all people once government takes away our right to vote, which was fought for uh, since 
since uh, this country was founded, and finally all people here can vote equally, and now they want to take it away. So this is EdwardCTracy.com. This is Ed Tracy with EdwardCTracy.com, and I'm just going to give you more sounds and sights of the uh, protest going on here right now. Um, and I will try to find out from those people if they were paid to be here or if they're volunteers. Thank you. Hey, no, tell us why you're here, Mary. Oh, my gosh, because I like standing out in the hot sun. Girl, oh, no. I like saying, no keys floss. <laughs> All right. Mary provides the comic relief for us today. <laughs> this is Josie Dean. Some people are saying that you all are being paid to be here by... Uh, by an organization against the T-Squad. No, we ain't got that kind of money. My organization has no money. And what's your organization? Rockdale Think Tank. Tell us about it. Rockdale Think Tank was founded by Josie Dean, which is me, to come bring awareness to the stuff that's going on in the county and around the world that never be addressed to. So that's why I got all these people, Democrats, Republicans, black and white, libertarians, all kind of people coming with me to say no. So, we are here, we are here out of love for our country and love for our people. Let them know we can't be fooled. So, you're saying that uh, you found out that the game is not real, what they're saying, and you're here to, to yes. inform the people. Yes, I'm here to let them know we're being tricked. And so, uh, your organization um, has regular meetings, when, where, and all uh, that. We have them at Johnson Park every third Saturday of the month from 2 to 3 o'clock. And, and, and tell the Catch you later. All right, <laughs> Josie Dean, I got bumper stickers for you, okay. and I got push cards. Okay. So, hold on. Miss Dean, this is also my card. I okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Go. So, uh, when is this month's meeting again? It's going to be um, on the 21st. On the 21st. Of uh, July at Johnson Park. Okay. We're going to have the um, Splash, uh, Rockdale County Splash, um, Elaine Nash, and Michael Machart. They're going to come and speak. And we're going to have some chairman uh, running is for the chair. That's the Rockdale County Splash, not the T-Splash. No, the Rockdale County Splash that taught us about what we're doing in our county. I already was proposed of what this Splash is going to do. Which is local control. Local control versus... Versus regional control. Yeah, because yeah. when regional get it, we ain't going to have no control. Right. Thank you. All right. Well, I can give you one thing. You guys are smarter than them for one reason. You're in the shade. <laughs> they were in the hot sun. <laughs> um, somebody has said to us that, and I just asked them the same question, are you all being paid to be here? No new tax! No new tax! No Ma'am? Oh, no comment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No comment. No comment? Can I can assume that's a yes? No, you can't assume anything. <laughs> Don't assume. Why are you for the Splosk? You don't want to talk about why you're here? You all got the sunny side, they got the shady side over there. Why y'all here for the Splos? Can you tell us? Y'all yeah, talk to my boy, maybe. Are y'all being paid to be here? 
The people over there on that side were willing to tell me why they're here. Are you not willing to tell us why you're here? Are you from Rockdale County? Is anyone willing to uh, tell the people why you're here? Are any of you willing to talk to the camera and tell us why you're here? The other side had no problem in telling us why they were here. Hey, Garvin, how are you? Good, my friend. How are you doing? I was just asking all of the pro floss people if they could talk to me and tell me why they're here, and none of them will talk to us and tell us why they're here. And I asked them if they were paid to be here because that's an accusation being made. And uh, when I said that, she said, no comment. And so I said, I assume that that means you are. And she said, no comment means no comment. So um, tell us, Garvin, why you're here today. I'm here because... This t splice is the worst thing to happen to Rockdale County that they could uh, even come up with. Would you include the whole state in that, not only Rockdale? <laughs> as, a, as a political as keeping, savvy person. As having the citizens to have the ability to keep local control of their money over what's important for their issues, for their county, not only for today, but for the future, is why they should vote no versus turning millions and millions of dollars they will no longer have access to over to politicians at ARC who's never built so much as a driveway. Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever seen in Rockdale County where Republicans, Democrats, independents, black, white, uh, progressives, uh, conservatives ever come together over an issue like this before? Well, it's only because it's, it's such common sense. Anyone with common sense who knows the truth about the uh, tax they are hoping to implement, which would never go away. I've served on SPLOST in the past. It took us five years to get one intersection improved because of environmental, because of if you got dollars from the U.S. government, if you got state dollars, wherever the dollars are helping, it takes tons of environmental engineering, etc. There won't be the first construction project built in 10 years. Then they'll need 10 more years to actually build anything. In the meantime, if the citizens of Rockdale County or your county need some other thing done in that time frame, you're going to have to vote on a sales tax that will put you in the 8th or up on a sales tax. Starting to talk New York City type taxes now. And that will be more difficult for your citizens. And this is the most oppressive tax on the poor that you can have is a sales tax. Taxes food? Yes, it taxes food. And so people who will never use a highway, shut-ins, elderly right. people, will pay a tax for a road they'll never use. And why we have the chairman of our county leading this, knowing it's going to suck $40 million out of our county, is, at, is just beyond my imagination. Why then? He's chairman of this group, isn't he? He is chairman of the ARC subcommittee to push this tax. And so, in Rockdale County is the biggest donor county of all the counties Have in the ever, region? No, no. No? No. As far as percentages go? Uh, I wouldn't are, are, say aren't we, aren't we only suppo supposedly getting back 70-something percent? Oh versus the other counties getting in the 90 well, percent. Well, that's called big fish eat little fish. Even though he's a champion for it. Exactly. And I know for a fact, being active, that we have needs that are going to be facing us through EPD, given that they have given us 10 years to get certain things done on items with water and sewer that will cost us $40 million. 
If this thing passes, then the citizens have a choice of passing an 8% sales tax or it's going to be on their water bill. That's the two choices that he's leaving us. And so that will cripple our county and put a burden on taxpayers here that won't be on taxpayers in other counties. Well, if they have those same needs in other counties, they'll have the same burdens in other counties. Not every county has a 7% current sales tax, though. That is accurate. Yes. Some even have higher. Yes, some have higher. Some so for have them, lower. some will even go up to 10%. That is right. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Mr. Meyer. You, you need to go downtown and have an interview with David Spann on the special use permits that are allowed by the city of Conyers. So you're saying, when you say downtown, because we are downtown, you're talking the about city offices. the city offices, which are not in Old Town, yeah. why they did that. Well, Mr. Spann was nice know. enough to give me a call a little while ago and tell me that the city of Conyers special use permit allows for anyone at any time to assemble. Uh, basically 24 hours a day, so long as they're not blocking ingress and egress to the businesses or the right-of-ways and there's no potential injury to themselves or others. So all that we fought for right across the street to get the special use permit corrected for the Rockdale County, which Rockdale County always tries to be just like the city, now the city has a rule anybody can come and, and protest and parade without a permit. So. When you're on city property, which we are here yes. in, in Old Town, even though it's county government buildings, yes. uh, the city's jurisdiction prevails. Correct. Okay. And the county rules don't prevail, so that means that the county cannot make us get a permit. So you only need a permit for the county when you're outside the city limits. Exactly. So we allowed from now on, any time, 24 hours a day. Did you to tape him on the record on that? Or? No, that's why I thought you might want to go down <laughs> and talk to Mr. Spann. And he was very nice and very gracious. He was very official and very clear and very helpful. I appreciate the phone call he gave me. Thank you. He was a great, a great public servant to give us a hand in understanding that. Great. Now tell us why you're against t -Splot. I'm, a t I'm against T-Splash. Couldn't you have picked a shadier place to talk to me? Uh, I'm, I'm in some great shape. What happened? <laughs> you, you're, I'm, I'm height challenged. You have the problem. Well, get up on the steps and I'll take your spot. Okay. There we go. Uh, the reason I'm against this particular T-Splash is because uh, the, uh, the process and the protocol about how we arrive at the control measures and mechanisms of how the money will be collected and redistributed to the various counties. I think we do need a regional t splash or a 1% sales tax for projects. But like Mr. Garvin Haynes says, is there has to be better oversight in the planning of the project so that potential projects won't span over a time period the t splash can't properly fund and finish correctly on schedule. Very good. Thank you. Morning, ma'am. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Why are you here today? Because I don't want to. I'm saying no. And why are you saying no? Because I don't want more taxes. And I don't want them coming in here. Just going to bring more criminals into the area. And That's so, what I think. And so, are, are you suggesting... Am I, am I being... Am I being... Yes, ma'am. Am I being... Yes, ma'am. You are, you, are you are on tape. Am I being... So... So how does it affect you personally to have to pay more taxes on food and other things? I'm a, uh, I'm a retired senior You're citizen. in a fixed income. And I'm on a fixed income and I can't afford to pay more taxes. I'm paying enough already. And I have paid my dues already. So I should be paying more. So how often do you travel to Atlanta? Not very. Not very. So, no. so the improvement of roads isn't going to help you? No. Thank you. You're welcome. Where are you? Which, which station are you from? I'll give you a card. EdwardCTracy.com. Do, do you get on the internet? No, I'm not. I'm not a computer savvy person. So I won't even see what's going. What I've said.
edwardtracy.com. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Morning, folks. Good morning. Came to the wrong place not to be on camera today. I mean, not deliberately. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, are you, <laughs> ma'am, are you, ma'am, are you with uh, traffic? I'm Linda, Truth? silly. And trafficTruth.org. Go there for talking points. Go there for why you should vote no. Other than the fact that the T spot is being run by a non-governmental agency, a partnership that does not respond to your tax dollars. This is a non-governmental, non-responsive agency that is going to be handling your tax dollars. That should be the line in the sand for you right that very second. Forget about any other reason why to vote no, other than somebody's got to explain to me why you would vote for more taxes upon yourself when we've got 21 new taxes coming oh, down the pike. Why, I don't know what's wrong with people. Why, why do we need to create a new bureaucracy when there's already a DOT that's supposed to be building roads and overseeing projects? We don't. It's that simple. We don't. Who's going to pay this tax? Why do you think they created a regionalization rather than using the same vehicle that they've already been created by the legislature for local squats? To reach out into the pockets of the taxpayers further out that will be impacted not at all. Only less than 4% of the population will even be using whatever improvements or facilities they're going to put in place. So consequently, 4% of the population is not within Atlanta is not going to support the failed MARTA system. Failed. Did I say failed MARTA system? And so you say failed, why? Why is it failed? Because you cannot, well, you cannot sustain something for nothing. You can't continue to put money into something where the money is not coming in. So you're saying that Modern is basically bankrupt? Bankrupt because of bad management, bad spending, low ridership. Uh, uh, ridiculous fares that don't sustain the system, so they're reaching out into the counties for your tax dollars. Money for nothing, baby chicks for free. And why in the world um, 
would people think that they can trust a government who has never sunsetted the Georgia 400 project that was promised, who said Social Security taxes were supposed to be uh, no more than 1% 100 years ago, and now they're 7, and uh, that uh, create a new tax every time they have a new idea. Um, why, do you, why do people continually trust this government to do the right thing when their record is they never do the right thing? That's a good question, Ed. I have no answer for you. All I have is a lot of people uh, looking at my neighbors and my fellow countrymen that find it more important to watch Dancing with the Stars instead of finding out what's going on in their country and to absolutely think about what they're doing when they go to vote and who they're finding to represent them. The more of big government you get, the less of freedom and personal management and responsibility do you get. It's a proven fact. It can't, it can't be denied. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Mackey, you want to answer a couple of questions? Certainly. Why are you here today? To vote against a tax. I do not believe that we should tax ourselves. We have seven percent now. Why put another percent on top of that and then send it to Cobb County or Fulton County so they can have some supposed ease in traffic? I think that the benefactors of this tax will be the politicians and the contractors. Yes, it probably will save some jobs. It's not going to create enough jobs to really make a systemic difference. This particular deal has been proven in other metropolitan areas. The more highways you build, the more cars come that way. So what we have to get into is virtual officing. What we have to do is get those different industries to move out to places like Rockdale County where we have enough opportunity and places, great workforce, that those businesses should move to Rockdale County and then the commute is is greatly reduced. So there's a lot of benefits for not voting for this tax. Thank you. All right. It is hot out here, man. All right, um, you know, Georgie, let's get over here. Let's get right into this corner. Excuse me. It's awful sunny in that corner. Yeah, but that's right. It's all, yeah, but we're not going to be here long. It's been sunny all morning. All right, that way we get Josie up in the front. Keep on moving. You'd rather have the camera behind your back, right? I'm right here. Yeah, Mary? Yeah. We get right next to Josie, Mary. I'm the All right, the short people up front. There we go. I'm sitting with my friend Jean. Yeah, we got to get all this stuff. Stand by us. Woo!
Father God, you look down upon all of us, God, and see our fault, but yet and still, Lord, you love us, and we thank you for our county, God. We plead the blood of our county, God, and be a safe, loving environment for all of us, God. And just like we got unity today, God, we keep this unity, God, and our county will stay the way it is going forward in 2012. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, God.